Hey everyone, what's going on? Electric Husky here. I am going to show you guys my way of grinding for the Marks of Honor in Code Vein. I'm currently playing on the Xbox One version. Not that that really makes too much of a difference. Show you guys my setup to start with. Uh, for the weapon I'm using, the Argent Wolf King's Blade Fortification Plus 10. And the uh, Blood Veil I'm using is the Nightclaw Fortification Plus 10. Fortification is going to be the best one you would want to have. In terms of the Blood Code, I am using Prometheus. Give me the best balance of the health and mainly the Icor. The Icor is the main thing I you want. Uh, in terms of our gifts, we are using Strength and Dexterity up, Revenant's Hunger. Revenant's Hunger increases the amount of haze. This is a, an optional thing, but if you're, it helps when you're grinding to get more haze to get more levels. Revenant's Greed is to increase the chances of items dropped from defeated enemies, and you'll see why in just a moment. And we do have the Two-Handed Sword Mastery as well. On our active side, we have Adrenaline, Blood Sacrifice, Flashing Fang, Overdrive, Blow of Madness, Merciless Reaper, and Night Fog Veil. I do also have Night Stalker, but you don't need Night Stalker. I had that on for a testing uh, earlier that I had. It really is not needed though. And the only other item that you'll need is Missile Root, or you can actually replace the, um, the Night Stalker with a specific... Um, with a very specific one. I can't remember what, which one it is off the top of my head. I will post, I will put it in the video, but it is, it's a, um, it, it's a gift that actually lets you also do the same thing. So it makes it a little bit easier. If you don't wanna, if you don't wanna have this item here, or if you don't uh, have the item yet, then you can use that. So the main goal is to power up, smack one enemy one time, and then go right back uh, up to the spot where the missile root is. So, start out by using, powering up our adrenaline, our flashing fang, our overdrive, use blood sacrifice as needed. Uh, I'm sorry, that one is the blow of madness, merciless reaper, blood sacrifice once more, and night fog veil, drop in, and then you can run up, and smack them once and return to the last missile now when if you uh, i'll show you that i did not actually get one there you can't see it through the overlay i'm currently using i do apologize but i will show you we are at 320 marks of honor at the moment um i trying to get the 400 so i will show you over an hour of this what uh, we are going to be at uh, rough, I found roughly you get about 20 per hour um, because the Revenant's Greed actually increases this one specific monster's chance of dropping the Marks of Honor from 20% to 30%. Uh, but if, as you can see, we are currently at 320. So let's see if we can get another one really quick. We'll, then we'll do a time lapse of an hour and see where we're at after that hour mark. We'll run up. Smack. He also, this same enemy only, uh, also drops regen inducer. So if you need those, it's also a great way to farm that. Uh, but we'll All right, and then we actually just got a mark. So we go back up. And um, like I said, we'll do a time lapse from this point for an hour. Uh, but I will show you, uh, again, you can actually see that I got the mark because it is hidden by my overlay. So let me show you that we got it. Oh, wrong place. So 321 mark of marks of honor. So again, we'll see you uh, I'll speed through an hour of the play time and you will see where we're at by the end of it.
Alright guys, so we just went through an hour of that, um, as you guys saw with that um, speed through, um, how we did. We got a little bit of progress made on the achievement itself. In terms of the mark, so after an hour, we ended up with 348. So we got 28 marks in roughly an hour. I will uh, put some calculations. Basically, um, I'll, I'll put you know how many times we went through, uh, how long it took, and an average... Um, an exact um, uh, amount of how many, how long it took, I should say, um, and then an average time to go through. So you kind of get an idea of, you know, we got 28 marks. How many times did it take us to get that? Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it though, um, and kind of enjoyed this. If you have any suggestions for any more videos I can make for Code Vein, please leave them down in the comments below, um, and feel free to let me know kind of what you've done for this achievement, what kind of strategy you had. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. I do. I am streaming this currently as I'm making this video. I'm streaming it on Twitch, uh, which is Electric Husky Twitch. So feel free to uh, check that out. Link is in the description. If you like the video, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more as I do more videos through my Twitch channel. I appreciate you guys coming and watching the video. Hopefully you guys learned something new. Um, and got a new way of doing this. It'd be great if you did. Let me know your success stories as well and how long it took you. This is about my sixth stream doing this uh, with some other streams testing it out. So, have a great one, guys, and uh, hope you have a great day, great night. I will see you guys when I see you. Thank you very much.